Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to make a start on the GUI in the inventory script. So, let's come inside this function. And just to let you know, this is going to be extremely long. Uh, much longer than what we've done before with the GUI. So, with that said, let's get started and we'll say if we'll open and close brackets we'll open and close again let's come inside the first set of brackets and we're going to say inventory is open double equals true so let's put that in the comments we'll say if inventory is open is equal to true and then we'll come inside and the first thing we're going to do is if the inventory is open then we need to draw its background and I'm going to comment this a little bit different and I think you'll see why as we uh, actually continue on in, in this lesson but first of all I'm going to put a comment right here and we're going to say draw inventory background texture we'll come below we'll say GUI and then we'll actually draw the texture so GUI dot draw texture let's open new and of type rect and let's open brackets again and again we want to zero comma zero comma by the full screen width by the full screen height we'll close brackets comma and the reason we're drawing it across the full screen is because this is the background. So we'll say inventory background. We'll close brackets again. We'll close the line off. And let's come here. We'll create a line break. And the comment again, we're going to say write stats at the top of the inventory screen and we'll come below now this time it's going to be of type GUI label again we'll open brackets and of type new rect we'll open brackets again and we're going to say screen dot width we're going to say we want half so screen dot width divide by two and we're going to say minus Let's open and close brackets. We'll come inside and we'll say stat label horizontal and again divide by two. And we've gone through how this works before, actually quite a number of times. So I'm not going to go in depth in this lesson. We're just saying we're drawing at half the screen width minus half the label width so we can get it plumb center. We'll say comma, and we're going to say five, comma, and what we want is the underscore, and we want the stat label horizontal, comma, by the stat label vertical. So let's close brackets there. We'll say comma in the speech marks and we'll say stats we'll close brackets and we'll close the line off so I'm just coming down by a value of 5 in the height we're drawing it by these dimensions at this position on the horizontal and let's come below the comment again we're going to say display the players current stats 
and we come here we say GUI dot and I've typed label again again open brackets of type new rect will open brackets again and where we're going to position this we're going to have a value of five comma coming in from the side of the screen 35 comma that's how much we're coming down by the height and again you may want to experiment with these values and then we'll say underscore and we want the stat label horizontal comma and we want the stat underscore stat label vertical let's close brackets comma little speech marks will come inside we'll say health and in fact I'm going to put a colon and a little gap and we're going to say plus and we're going to open and close brackets we're going to cast to an int we're going to say return and we want current player health and what we're going to do then is we're going to say plus little speech marks again we'll come inside we'll do a forward slash we're going to say plus again return and we want the maximum player health let's close brackets and let's close the line off and we'll go through this line now so we're drawing a label obviously position on screen five in from the side 35 down in the height and we're going to draw the label by these dimensions and then in the label we're going to write health and we're going to say write health plus the returned player health so the current health of the player cast to an int which we've done before casting then we're going to write this and then we're also going to write the maximum player health now please don't input what I'm about to write but the label when we've actually finished the inventory will look something like this so it'll be health with the colon so if the current player health is let's say 55 we'll have the slash by the max which let's say is 100 and that's how the label is going to look let's just get rid of that for now and let's just copy this so we'll paste it in for the hunger and we'll just keep going so we need hunger hydration stamina and we also need one for the battery power let's get rid of the empty line so let's come to hunger first and let's change what needs to be changed so with hunger we're going to this time let's come yeah we're going to bring this in by the screen dot width and we're going to divide by four we're going to say minus let's open and close brackets the stat label horizontal again divided by four and I have actually experimented with these values just in case you're wondering I'm going to say plus 2.5 F the value of 35 can be the same so we're positioning it at the at a quarter of the screen minus a quarter of the stat labor horizontal and then plus in 2.5 and that's because we're using a value of 5 as our little buffer that's why we bring it in by 5 for the health um, I've gone through how to do this before 
when we did the player GUI. So I don't really want to spend too much time. But um, if you do have any questions, as always, you can always leave them below and I'll try my best to answer. Or even better, you know, you could always, always experiment for yourself and see how it works. So with that said, we still draw in by the label dimensions defined here. Only this time we need to say hunger. And we need the returned current hunger and the returned maximum hunger. So let's come back and let's come to hydration. So for hydration, we can say screen dot width. And because it's going to be in the middle, we'll say divided by 2, minus, we'll open and close brackets again, we'll come inside and we'll say start label horizontal, and again divided by 2. And let's go through, so we'll change it to hydration here, the returned current player hydration and the return maximum player hydration also and we'll continue on for the stamina so we're going to think of the best way of doing this let's open and close brackets again we'll come inside um yes we'll say screen dot width and we're going to come to the end. We'll say minus. And we want the screen dot width. And we're going to say divided by 4. And let's have a look. Let's. In fact, I'm going to put that in brackets. So we'll close brackets there. We'll come there and we'll open brackets. So we've opened and closed. We'll also say minus. We'll open and close brackets again. We want the stat label horizontal. And we're going to say divided by 1.33F. And we're going to say minus 2.5F. So let's come to the end. You have to excuse me. I seem to be having a little bit of an issue with my mouse today. But um, we'll continue on. We'll soldier on and uh, get this lesson completed. So we'll change that to stamina. Here we'll say return current player stamina. Return and we want the maximum player stamina and finally we'll come here and we'll leave the five in place so we'll say screen dot width so screen dot width and we're going to say minus let's open and close brackets here We'll say start label horizontal, so the full length of the start label. And we're going to say minus 5 there. So, that's where we're coming in. We're coming in the full screen width minus the label here, minus the 5 buffer we have. So, <coughs> excuse me. With that said, let's continue on. We'll come here and we're going to say battery. Now, I'm going to say, or I'm going to remind you at this point, we need to make changes to the flashlight script before any of the battery code will work in the inventory. So please be aware of that if you are testing yourself. But we are going to get round to that, and we'll get round to it quite soon, actually. So, with that said, let's continue on. 
And now we will return the current player or the current battery power by the returned max battery power. And we'll save that off there because this lesson's getting quite long. So let's end here. We finished this block and in the next lesson we'll actually still be continuing on. It may take a few lessons actually to get the GUI done. But um, as I said, we'll continue on in the next lesson. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.